So, I learned something about myself. I really don't like curly hair. It gets in my face, gets in my eyes, I don't like it. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Jesse's Barbershop. Huge news, over the weekend we just hit a thousand subscribers. So, first of all I'd like to thank everybody up until this point who has been supporting me. It's been a lot of fun and I hope to continue to make these videos and you hitting that subscribe button really helps. So, thank you guys so much. You know, I was thinking when we hit the thousand subscribers, I was like, hmm, what type of video could I make as like a special surprise thousand subscriber video? And then I realized you guys have subscribed to me because you like watching my videos. So why wouldn't I just make another video? You guys have by far appreciated my hair breakdowns the most out of all my videos. So I figured of the thousand subscribers, most of them would have probably have come from these hair breakdown videos. So one of the most commonly asked questions from people who have DM'd me on Instagram or commented in the comment section is, you know, now that I have this haircut or this was really cool, super informative, but how do I actually style my hair like that? And that's kind of what we're gonna be doing with this. So as my thousand subscriber special, I'm kicking off a series which is going to be a series of, I don't know, seven or eight videos, which I'm going to be calling Men's Hairstyling Essential Techniques or something like that, I don't know. All of these hairstyles that I've been reviewing in my hair breakdowns where I take a celebrity who has a super popular hairstyle and kind of break it down from a very professional technical standpoint, I'm going to take those techniques and strategies that I'm talking about and actually show you how to implement them. So by far the most popular of these hair breakdowns up until this point has been my Shawn Mendes in Wonder hair breakdown, followed closely in second by Timothy Chalamet's hair breakdown, which as you could probably tell, both of these guys have a little bit of a curly hairstyle. So if you're somebody with naturally wavy hair or you're just looking to get a little bit more movement in your hair, stick around because that's what we're doing today. My name's Jesse, and if you're new here and you're somebody who's looking for men's hair tips, tricks, tutorials, all that kind of good stuff, consider hitting that subscribe button because that's what I do on this channel here. So with all that being said, the technique we're gonna be going over today to help you get that curly look or that wavy movement you're looking for is called scrunch drying. Now, you may have heard of this. I'll give you a quick rundown over what the scrunch drying is before I actually get into doing it and showing you how to do it. So essentially what scrunch drying is, is it's taking your blow dryer and drying the hair in as natural of a a curly pattern as you can. Typically, when you're blow drying your hair, you'll take a brush and you'll smooth it all straight to get those follicles nice and sealed down so your hair's nice and shiny and silky and all that kind of stuff. But if you have curly hair or you're not trying to go for a straight look, that can be completely useless. So what scrunch drying is, is taking your hair and scrunching it and drying it in that scrunched position. So as you could probably see, even before we're blow drying it, that's kind of what it's doing. If you have this natural wave to your hair, you're, you're pulling it straight, it's gonna straighten out. But if you take your hair and just kind of like, you know, scooch, scooch, and dry it in that position, it'll really lock in those curls. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my entire hair that way so you can kind of see how it's done. But before we do that, the first thing we gotta do is of course apply some product. You guys have probably heard me talk about this stuff because it's one of my favorite curl brands, but it is Bumble and Bumble's curl line. I'm specifically using the curl cream and this is not really necessary I find but I like it a lot. Curl activator and essentially I like to think of this as curly water. When you're scrunch drying your hair you want to do it from a wet or damp state so we'll just dive right into this. First thing I like to do is spritz my hair with the curl activator and the cool thing about scrunch drying guys is you don't need anything other than your fingers and a blow dryer. No other tools, no brushes, no clips, nothing. And then I'm going to be applying Bumble and Bumble curl cream. Now this is kind of where the magic happens because you don't need a lot depending on how much, your, how much hair you have of course. I mean I kind of need a lot because I got a lot of hair. Fully saturate, you see like this. Now using a product like a curl cream is essential because I mean you're putting a lot of heat into your hair just directly on your scalp so it is important that you make sure there is something in your hair that acts as a bit of a buffer and that's kind of what the curl cream does. Any product that's in your hair when you're blow drying will act as a buffer to kind of keep your hair from completely burning or frying but this is a buffer that's been specifically designed to help enhance those curls. So that's why I've chosen to use this stuff today. So I think what I'm gonna do now is just jump straight into the styling where I'm not even really sure how I'm gonna do it, if I'm gonna overlay my voice or just kind of put text over top, but enjoy the next minute or so where uh, I'm gonna be going over me actually scrunch drying my hair. Hopefully you guys can learn something.
done with this video. I realized I haven't scrunch dried my hair in a long time and it just looked like ass. <laughs> How does it look? Looks good to me. Well, it's style, right? Yeah. I mean, I, I wouldn't be able to pick out what you didn't do, right? No major very Good. That's kind of what I was going for, I think. Okay, so I think that's it guys. And actually what I've done is I've kind of, you know, changed my parting around a little bit. But the main thing is, you know, there's movement, there's waves and curls in my hair and they're all locked in, they're all completely dry. So if I went out and started doing things during the day, these curls aren't going anywhere. So, I mean, I think it looks pretty good. Now I have a very tough head of hair to curl. My hair tends to get super frizzy. So you probably saw in the close up, you know, I was really kind of running my hands through my hair to seal down those flyaways because that curl has been locked in because it's been dried in that scrunch dried position. You just kind of pop them all back up and we're good to go. So this is kind of what I came up with. This is the final look. I think it's not too bad. And I typically like myself with straighter hair, but this actually isn't too bad. So I think I might maybe do this a little more often. Who knows? Anyways, a couple key points when you are implementing the scrunch drying technique is a Again, you want to make sure your hair is being dried in as natural of a position as possible. So when you're scrunching that hair, you're never pulling or creating tension with the hair. You're just kind of squeezing into the scalp. And that's actually a common mistake a lot of people make is they'll scrunch it and then pull it out. That's not what you want to do. You want to keep those curls as tight as possible. And once it's dried afterwards, if you want to loosen them out, you can do that like you saw me doing when I was trying to seal down my flyaways. And I mean, what else am I missing here? Oh, medium heat if you can on the blow dryer high heat tends to kind of blast open the cuticles. So medium heat, low power. The way you're gonna go about it is completely gonna depend on your hair type and what kind of natural curl pattern you have to your hair, but that's kind of the basics. And the reason why I've considered this an essential technique is because even if you don't have natural wave or curl to your hair, this scrunch drying technique is a great way to create texture and create volume in your straight hair. So for example, if you're somebody with super straight hair, I guarantee you, if you put some curl cream into your hair and scrunch dry it and really just it up, it would create that volume and that texture that a lot of people struggle to get. So whatever hair type you have, this is definitely a technique that you should keep in the back pocket because it's a great way to shake things up a bit. So I hope through this video, you've gotten a good sense of the process and the potential of scrunch drying. And I hope it has been somewhat helpful for you guys. And last question, in my last video, I started with my hair kind of messy and curly and some guy commented saying that he actually liked it better before I had straightened it using the $100 Royal Blowout Hairspray from Orbe. So I'm wondering, if you guys are familiar with the way I normally style my hair, and now that you've seen this, which style do you like better? Please leave your opinion in the comment section down below. Couple more things. Like I said, this is the first of my essential men's hairstyling techniques that I've come up with. So there's a lot more to come. And if you're interested to make sure you don't miss those, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the little bell for notifications so you know when those do come out. And last but not least, thank you guys so much for the 1000 subs. Uh, it feels really good to kind of hit that milestone and I'm excited to continue on from here. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and we will hopefully see you in the next one.